Hello, this is James from GameGuides.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about fighting human enemies in The Last of Us. Most encounters in The Last of Us start in a sort of stealthy section, and the good thing about human opponents is that Joel can easily take them down if he can get his mitts on them. So as with any stealth game, you'll want to watch your enemy's movements to start with so you can decide when it's best to strike. So you want to single enemies out when they're in an area that their mates can't spot them. And you'll normally be approaching enemies from behind as you know they, can't, they don't look behind them and they don't often check behind them. It is worth noting, however, that Joel can initiate a grab from a corner cover spot as an enemy approaches said corner front on. Knowing this little fact opens up a number of potential attack spots you have because it's easy to grab people as they come through doorways and such. Once enemies are alerted to Joel's presence, their behaviour patterns tend to change and both melee and ranged enemies have two distinct ways that they move around the map. Once they've seen you but don't know what weapon you're using, enemies will advance on your position directly but if you fire a bullet, then the enemies will know that you've got a gun and they'll tend to hang back and the melee enemies will try to flank you. The sort of things that can change the enemy's stance are, as said, firing a bullet, that changes them to the he's got a gun mode, uh, but pulling the trigger with an empty gun, so if your gun clicks, then enemies assume you have no more ammo and that'll put them back into the aggressive mode. It's always important to work out what weapons your enemies are using first and foremost as this gives you a good idea of how to think in the current encounter. Enemies with melee weapons tend to give Joel's hiding spot a really, really wide berth because they try to flank you and the enemies that flank in The Last of Us go really wide and they can be a pain if you're not expecting them. So always watch out for those. Listen, Use Joel's listen mode to spot them. The best tactic if you have been spotted is simply to move slightly away from where you were and watch the area where enemies think you are because the game works on a last known location system similar to the likes of Splinter Cell and the Batman games, the Arkham Asylum, Arkham City games so if you move and you watch where you were then you can normally catch enemies out that are trying to sneak around to see if you're still there There's not much more when it comes to fighting human enemies in The Last of Us just stay vigilant, use cover and don't keep your head out too long because it's a rough world out there. Huh?